Good evening. 120 minutes of FA Cup football can separate Manchester United and Arsenal on Sunday. So we're back at Villa Park for the conclusion of this FA Cup semi. Which of the two teams will win through to this season's FA Cup final to meet Newcastle on May the 22nd at Wembley? Hello, this is Gary Bloom, ready to guide you through what could be another couple of hours of fascinating football between the top two teams in England. Manchester United, who are hoping to land a European Cup, FA Cup and League treble against Arsenal, the current FA Cup holders and League champions. United are the favourites, Arsenal have the best defensive record in the country. There's so little to choose between the two, but there has to be a winner tonight. And if necessary, there'll be a penalty shootout at the end of extra time, if the scores are still level. Another full house at Villa Park. Dennis Bergkamp is ready and waiting in Arsenal's cause. He's scored eight goals in his last 13 games. Can he guide Arsenal to Wembley Stadium for this season's FA Cup final? Remember, Newcastle have already won through there, beating Tottenham at the weekend. Who will join them? Manchester United in their chain strip will get this football match underway, or Arsenal? Arsenal have never lost an FA Cup semi-final replay. This is their eighth. They're bidding to re reach their 14th FA Cup final. Beckham here for Manchester United, an early ball laid into the penalty area. It's only as far as Patrick Vieira. Solskjaer barged off the ball by Vieira and the referee spotted that. Free kick to Manchester United. But... Huge clearance by Schmeichel. Vieira. Teddy Sheringham is in for a rough night. Winterburn. And Elka. But. This is Gary Neville. David Beckham now for Manchester United. Sheringham couldn't win the ball, it's all rather fast and furious in the opening stages, just as you'd expect as Winterburn turns the ball out of play. Nigel Winterburn who picked up an Astre rib injury, courtesy of uh, David Beckham here on Sunday. Seems to be fully fit, to this highly impressive back line of Arsenal. Keane. Emmanuel Petit trying to snap his way into the game. Gary Neville, Beth Neville brothers playing for Manchester United tonight. Beckham. Keane. Yep, Stamp. But. Right start here for Manchester United. They've won their last five FA Cup semi-final replays. Both teams have a highly impressive record, quite simply. Gary Neville, this is Beckham. Trying to pick out Blomqvist, but Arsenal have it back. This is Lee Dixon. And this is Bergkamp, chased by Butt. Trying to pick out Anelka here, and that's Ronnie Johnson helping it back to Peter Schmeichel. Adams. Next down. Petit won the ball well from Keane. Anelka. Nicholas Anelka now. Ray Parler. Parler's cross looking for Anelka and headed clear by Stamp. Dix. Long twist. 
in the semi-final tonight, starting much in the same vein as Sunday's match. At 300 miles an hour, both teams swapping possession with unbelievable pace. It'll take a while for it all to settle down. Adams. Some of the tackles are fast and furious. And maybe the referee, David Ellery, is in for an interesting evening. Let's hope he's not flashing too many red cards before the night is done. Leedick's with a throw. Palmer. And Elka. Going to get the better of Philip Neville here. Blomqvist, all inside here to Keane, this is Gary Neville. Gary Neville who played versus Crystal Palace here in the 95 FA Cup semi-final. And there's Nicky Bat, preferred to Paul Scholes once again, Sheringham. Adams. I just wonder whether Arsenal feel they had a massive let-off on Sunday with that controversial disallowed goal, and this could well be the Gunners' night. Arsenal, who won the trophy twice in the 1990s, beating Sheffield Wednesday in 93 and Newcastle last season, and they won the double. Now they're going back to an FA Cup final and another meeting with Newcastle. Philip Neville wanted to get the ball back there to Schmeichel and uh, hesitated slightly. That's Yaps down. But. Alex Ferguson. He's won this competition three times since he's been with the club. Lost an FA Cup semi-final. Looking to start now. Parla with the shade off, but throwing now to Arsenal. defence and now Roy Keane has thumped an Elka to the ground, the referees have had the advantage and I'm sure he's going to hold play back once the whistle has gone and it goes out of play. I think the referee will have a word now with Roy Keane. The momentum of the game allowed to flow, this is Nigel Winterberg. He was very late then on an Elka. Youngberg has given the ball away. Just United have possession with Roy Keane. Beckham. Incidentally, if you can see here, one or two players wearing gloves tonight. It has been very cold in England today. And the snow showers throughout the country as Philip Neville turns this one across. And it's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. First real attempt of the game. There's an easy chance to put the ball over his shoulder. Good run there by Philip Neville. Prepared to attack the uh, outside of the Arsenal defence. Solskjaer has scored 16 goals this season. 
really has been placed in the shadows since Dwight York's arrival at the club. Certainly looked business like early on. Vieira. Dixon. Brings Vieira into the game. Petit's giving it away. Arsene Wenger was uh, saying this week he wondered whether Petit was completely match fit. Hasn't played in the last three games because of suspension. This is a big test for Petit. This is key. Philip Neville. Took a fearful lap there. Teddy Sheringham gave him a bit of a reminder he's about. On the kick to Manchester United. Beckham to take it. Nil nil, we've had 10 minutes of the match. Made by Keown, but. teams have picked up where they left off on Sunday, happy to attack, this is Beckham, Stam forward, Johnson forward, Keane forward, and Beckham pick it up, one of those three, not like that. Beckham. Dangerous ball, but it's read well by David Seaman. The trajectory of both these crosses that Beckham has delivered into the penalty area was very low. Solskjaer was a bit dangerous there, he went in with his stud showing. But it never, back to Yapstam. Yapstam has had only a couple of weeks off in the last 14 months of football. Michael and Keane have appeared more in Manchester United's games. A really punishing season for both these two famous football clubs. This is Manchester United's 52nd game of the season. But there's more to come. Winterberg, Ljungberg. Demanded an awful lot of fatigue. And that should be a throw into Arsenal. I don't think Keane does though, does he? Fouls 
Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, free kick to Manchester United. from Bergkamp going to Arsenal. Barla has given possession away to Bert and then Bert does likewise. Then it's Bergkamp who missed last season's final through injury. And this really is a very important match for him. Yeah, claiming he was caught then in his shooting stride if he was trying to shoot, maybe it was a cross. Anelka. Prior right to the kickoff today, Arsenal have gone 11 hours and 13 minutes without conceding a goal. And another quarter of an hour to that, it's now 11 and a half hours. That's how hard it's going to be for Manchester United. Longfist slightly late into the challenge. And of course, the player signed from Palmer at the start of the season. Martin Keown with a free kick for Arsenal. Palmer. Dixon. Oh, he's left the ball behind. Longfist is very quick and he's very tricky as well. Sheringham. He's possessed by Adams. Vieira then won the ball. That's Petit. Bergkamp. Vieira. Arsenal driving forward here. Patrick Vieira. the best ball by Vienna. There were two options inside him and he chose to go out to the right wing. He knows he made a mistake there and he might have let Manchester United off the hook. Manu Petit. He cleared by Stamp. And Vieira. Uh, Half-hearted attempt on goal. as far as Beckham, it's Manchester United's turn to attack. Sheringham. Beckham! First blood to Manchester United! David Beckham breaks the deadlock after 16 minutes. David Beckham who scored an FA Cup semi-final winner here against Chelsea in 96, could well have scored a goal which signals Manchester United's progress to Wembley. Lovely touch here by Sheringham to set him up, and what a decisive finish by Beckham. Sweeping the ball past his England colleague David Seaman to make it Arsenal nil, Manchester United won. had of not conceding a goal has been shattered and it comes after 11 and a half hours of goalless football Arsenal have been breached at long last and that should make for a much better football match for the neutral because Arsenal have to come out now and attack Manchester United Good job by Ronnie Hills. And that's paid tribute there to Teddy Sheringham because when he was surrounded by Arsenal defenders, he used his head in more ways than one. Just laid the ball off sideways to Beckham. And that was the undoing of Arsenal. David Beckham's had his critics this season. 
especially after his sending off at the World Cup finals against Argentina. But he was at his very best then. And the voices he can hear now, not too surprisingly, belong to the supporters of Manchester United. Vieira. This is Butts. And here come Manchester United again. They really are going for the jugular. Blomqvist. Blomqvist again. Trying to get the better of Vieira, who leaves him standing. Birkham. Pardon now for Arsenal. Oh dear. Needed the delicate sound wedge. And we got the full five line. But Beckham's goal now separates the two teams. Is it the goal to take Manchester United to Wembley? Their fans think so, because they're singing all about Wembley now. David Seaman and David Beckham, big pals in the England setup. But Seaman could do little about Beckham's attempt on goal. I really would like to see another slow motion replay of Beckham's goal to see whether Seaman was slightly at fault. Maybe he was not correctly positioned. We'll have to wait and see. Keith. Beckham. Vienna. Well, this is a real test of Arsenal's steel to see whether they can shrink aside the disappointment of conceding that relatively early goal and take this game by the scruff of its neck and find an equalising goal. Dennis Burkett. Not by his Dutch international colleague, Yaps down. This is Burkett! Saved by Schmeichel. Oh, we're going to have, I think, an outstanding game tonight. First Beckham's goal, then an outstanding save after a delicate piece of skill here by Dennis Burkham. Wherever you're watching this game around the world, don't dare move. This is going to be incident-laden throughout the entirety. Winterman. Anelka, Bergkamp, Ljungberg's on his way, and Schmeichel is there. Arsenal unbeaten in their last 15 FA Cup ties, and who have not lost an FA Cup tie since January 88, are a goal behind. Blomqvist, Sheringham. Blomqvist with the cross, away by Kia. Blomqvist, but, sharing it, but! What a block there by Kia. Manchester United are absolutely on fire. Look at this passing movement. Lovely touch there by Oni Gullis Solskjaer. And 10 out of 10 for this man here. He saved Arsenal from being 2-0 down. Corner kick to Manchester United. Bergkamp's on his way for Arsenal. Stan tries to get back. The Dutch touch was enough from Bergkamp. Winterman. I'm not sure my voice is going to last out the full 90 minutes if it carries on like this. I think we're witnessing what could well turn out to be one of the classic FA Cup semi-final replays. The gloves are well and truly off. As Manchester United seek a second goal. Blomqvist. He's pulled it back, Sheringham! Well, Alex.
Alex Ferguson created one of the sensations of the season with his team selection for tonight. It appears to be paying off. Sheringham, Blomqvist and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer are combining effectively for Ferguson and looking very dangerous indeed. Maybe it'll prove to be a masterstroke. Resting Cole and York. looked at my stopwatch it already reads 24 minutes I don't know where those 24 minutes have gone a baby faced Oli Gunnar Solskjaer not even assured of a cup final play should Manchester United get there a free kick now to Manchester United we lead 1-0 this is Beckham Thomas two. Sheringham's flick almost was the undoing of Arsenal again. Watch the number ten. Dean almost got there, and Arsenal are being rocked back on their heels here by Manchester United. Sheringham is having a fine game. I bet he was as surprised as anybody when Alex Ferguson told him this afternoon he was playing. He was a driving up the motorway about four o'clock when I received a telephone call to inform me about uh, the fact that Alex Ferguson had made these changes. I wonder how early Teddy Sheringham was informed. Solskjaer claims a corner. Nigel Winterburn claims a goal kick. I think the Arsenal man is going to be favoured here. Oh, that's really a corner kick. Because Winterburn definitely got the final touch here. Just watch. Now that's... Uh, slow motion replay didn't really reveal the true extent of the frustration of the Manchester United player <laughs> to be honest since Manchester United have taken the lead it's Manchester United who look more likely to score again Yep, Stamp lies now, free kick to Arsenal. And the referee is reaching for the first yellow card of the evening. It'll be Yap Stamp who's caution. Yap Stamp who played in last season's Dutch Cup final for PSV. We're on the wrong end of a 5-0 scoreline. But the English Cup final will be very different indeed. That's Petit. And by Vieri. Comfortably, comfortably held rather by Peter Schmeichel. Solskjaer, Blomqvist. Way by Kier. This is Parler. And that little deal with Nicky Butt. And that's a rather pernicious tackle by Dennis Bergkamp. It was on the blind side of the referee, had it be round the other side, I think he could have been yellow carded. <laughs> Manchester United aren't invincible, they've conceded goals in five of their last six games, but can they hang on to the lead here? And the United on course for an unprecedented treble of FA Cup, League Championship and European Cup. Not a great clearance there by Schmeichel, was it? United got away with it. Players in the way 
to make life difficult for Arsenal. Oh, Keown went right through the back of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. This is Sheringham now for Manchester United. Yeah, the yellow card for Keown. And this is why. Didn't really make a lot of contact, but he shaped to kick at the heels of Solskjaer. And that was enough for the referee. Keown, who was sent off a week ago at Blackburn. So, uh, to be sent off again. Twice in the space of seven days. My goodness, Arsenal have had their disciplinary problems this season. Birkham. And he was being hauled back by Yapstam. As the two Dutch players disputed possession. And the decision has gone away at Birkham. Two international teammates, Stam and Birkham. Usually in the orange of Holland, now on opposite sides. We've nearly had half an hour of the game. United one up. Petit with a free kick. T hasn't really got to the heart of this football match. Sharing him to a non by Gary Neville. Palmer's won it, and Melka's offside. Melka just mistimed his run, only by a couple of seconds. But clearly, he was offside, and it was Graham Atkins who was called into the action again to adjudicate. He got that one right. And he's had a few sleepless nights in Sunday. And a bit of gentle ribbing, no doubt, from his work colleagues. Beckham. Keane. Chip forward. United offside this time. This time it's Mike North, the referee's assistant, raising his flag to catch Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in an offside position. to plan, Ferguson's plan, and the plan is to be at Wembley on the 22nd of May, and here's Birkia, and it's Keane who gets it back to Schmeich. <laughs> Arsenal need a goal, I think before half-time, otherwise Manchester United are just going to become more and more confident Defending their one goal advantage. But it never doing a sterling job trying to snuff out the threat of Ray Parler. But it's Beckham's goal which separates the two teams. Just want to look at Seaman's position here. I'm not sure there's an awful lot he could do about it because. The ball was upped away from David Seaman, almost as if Beckham had hit a curving free kick and swept wide of Beckham of uh, Seaman's dive to make it hard for the England goalkeeper. Tackle by Keane. And a yellow card for Roy Keane. And he better watch his tongue here because the last thing Manchester United need is to be a player right. Roy Keane was sent off here in the FA Cup semi final of 95. the second Manchester United player to be shown a yellow card. Good gap, limps away. And it's 
Arsenal prepared to take this free kick. It's Winterburn who'll take it. Jungberg. Blomqvist. And a couple of tackles. Sheringham. Winterberg. And Palmer. Winterberg. Vieira. Adams. Touched by Nelka. Palmer. The tackles are going in thick and fast, you know. Kier. Could be a referee in a night like this. This time Beckham tricks or trips Nürnberg in another yellow card. The referee just might as well keep his yellow card in his hand because a few players are going to be cautioned. And of course, the more players who are cautioned, so it increases the likelihood of a second yellow card being shown. It's three United players booked now, but United have that all-important goal. Beckham. to go to half-time. Yeah. Winterman. Adams. Nelka. Dixon. Nelka. by Parnock, didn't quite come off, Sheringham, this is Butt. <laughs> Philip now, Sheringham, a uh, Tottenham player of course, really popular with the Arsenal fans, Tottenham's London rivals, Beckham, and this time it's Bergkamp, and Elka makes a run ahead of him. A support from Ljungberg if he wants to use him. Arnold's offside. Just strikes me that Manchester United have been that bit quicker into the tackle. And their passing has been that bit, bit sharper. And they seem to have that little bit more of an appetite for the fight. Maybe the four changes that they've made for this game have fr freshened up the team and freshened up their ideas. Barla. It's an interesting tackle. Solskjaer. to David Seaman. But... Jungberg. This is Adams. Vieira, given away. T won it back, no foul. Vieira, Palmer now for Arsenal. Vieira's made a run forward here. This is Patrick Vieira. Look at his, his acceleration here. Not quite good enough to keep the ball in play. And he was breezing past Yapstam. Just seemed to find a couple of extra gears. And that United defence were on red alert.
United will do with reaching half time and that conceding a goal will give them a massive psychological advantage. This is Evans. Yep. Yeah. Back to David Seaman. Going in his fifth FA Cup semi final. And the goal at the centre of your picture. And he's on the substitutes bench tonight. to get the ball to safety. Now Arsenal miss Mark Overmars. Just give them that extra option of being able to run with the ball. And I'm sure Arsene Wenger would love to have Overmars fit enough to start this game. Overmars ponders the possibility of coming on as a substitute. Little more. And here's Petit! Great save by Schmeichel. Manu Petit has scored a goal in a World Cup final, but he couldn't find one here. Petit with a corner. Still 1-0 to Manchester United in this FA Cup semi-final replay. That one headed clear by Butt. Solskjaer, the Norwegian international. Great kick to Arsenal. Petit again. Vieira. Ljungberg. Not sharing him of all people who thumps the ball to safety. Burkamp. And Elka. And Elka! Wrong side of the upright. Some of the supporters on the far side thought he'd tuck the ball in. But he only managed to rattle the cameras and the paraphernalia in the goal. And Elka really needed to pull this ball back. Once he got into the position he was in, there. The angle was always going to defeat him. And Elka now for Arsenal. Less than four minutes to go to half time. Manchester United lead by goal to nil. Nicky Buck for Manchester United. Yes, but Blomqvist now. Phil Neville. Oh, slightly unfortunate as far as. Neville was concerned. Remember, we have to have a winner on the night. And incidentally, we're watching a piece of history unfold here because this is the last ever FA Cup semi final replay. Next season will have to be decided on the day. and that giant frame of Schmeichel unfolded to pull the ball to safety. I'm sure Schmeichel's presence in that Manchester United goal must give players like Harry Neville and his other defenders terrific confidence. 
Beckham. Sherry. Beckham again. Vienne. Yeah. Yeah, she's to burn. Vienne. Yeah. in the middle, came off Philip Nethall. He's hemmed in a bit here. It was a good ball by the England international. I actually feel as a neutral that that early Manchester United goal has given us a much better first half than we would have had if the scoreline was still blank. Because it's just encouraged Arsenal to come out and try and play some decent football here. And that's given Manchester United the space to counter-attack. Like they're doing now. This is Beckham. Solskjaer. And off Tony Adams. Good strike on goal here by Solskjaer. As we move round to the 45-minute mark, there's two minutes of stoppage time to be added up. Manchester United have a corner. Beckham to take it. It's the X down. They can't press back in defensive duties here for Arsenal. And at Neville. And Elka. That's superbly done by the youngster. Nuremberg. try and retrieve this one and the throw in goes Manchester United's way and that could well be a caution for Parler for ungentlemanly conduct it's a great tackle by Gary Neville who came across and managed to intercept the pass from Frederick Ljungberg inside the final minute of this half for uh, further stoppages. And United fans are singing about Wembley. I wonder if they'll be singing about Wembley in 45 minutes' time. But... Vieira... ...to carve a path for a very uh, crowded midfield. left now maybe time for one last United attack Keane Gary Neville and there is the half-time whistle well Manchester United started the game very strongly and they found an early goal after 17 minutes through David Beckham it was a quite superb strike and the more you look at the goal, the more you realise how this ball was placed inch perfect into the corner of the net by David Beckham. It was almost like a free kick. Beckham knew what he was doing. Manchester United know what they're doing. Will it be a similar story in 45 minutes' time when United will go to Wembley if the scoreline remains the same? The scoreline at half-time is Arsenal nil, Manchester United 1.
It'll be Arsenal to restart the game. This is Arsenal's 11th FA Cup semi-final at Villa Park. The only loss came in 1983 against, yes, you guessed it, Manchester United. Arsenal unbeaten in their last six games against Manchester United. They've won four of those, but my goodness, they have a battle on their hands now in this second half to turn round this uh, one-goal deficit. Rather late arriving Manu Petit with gloves. But it, will it be Arsenal to catch a cold in this second period? So it's Arsenal playing from left to right in this second half, a goal down. Ljungberg. There's certainly a feeling at half time that uh, perhaps Mark Overmars might be introduced into the match at some stage if things don't go well for Arsenal. But maybe they're going well here with Bergkamp trying to turn stamp. And Nelka's almost in and hooked to safety by the ever dependable Peter Schmeichel. tonight just over 30,000 it's not as high as uh, Sunday the, the capacity here is more like 45 it's not disappointing attendance but it's nothing disappointing about the quality of the football it's much better than Sunday and that was good Vieira Vieira again Petit, and his passing isn't quite razor sharp. He normally is such an effective pass of the ball, Manu Petit. But he's been out for three matches since his sending off against Everton. And he vowed he was going to turn his back on the English game. And now Manchester United can attack here. Blomqvist. Unable to keep the ball alive. Jesper Blomqvist, who became the first player United have signed from an Italian club since Dennis Law when he came in the summer. Vieira. Now by Bergkamp. Missed last season's semi final through suspension and, and injury. That was the semi final and final. Uh, but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer remains alive to the possibilities in that Manchester United attack. Remember, three changes imposed by Alex Ferguson for tonight's game. Cole, York, and Giggs all dropped. Solskjaer, Blomqvist, and Sheringham all start for Manchester United. And to be honest, they freshened up the Manchester United team, who look full of ideas, full of running, and full of problems for Arsenal. Vieira. Arsenal have to change things around a bit. They can't carry on the way they did in the first half. They're going to have to try and set Manchester United new problems. Maybe they'll leave it as it is for a quarter of an hour, but I don't see United conceding a goal the way things stand at the moment. Now, being a commentator, you normally proved wrong when you say things like that, but to my eye at least, United don't look like conceding. Not with players like Stam at the back. If Arsenal bring other players into this game, it could all change, but as it is at the moment, it's United's game. Not a lot between it, or not a lot between the two sides, rather. But United just have that slight edge, and they have that all-important goal. Seaman. Feels the handball against Yapstamp. Turned aside, this is Beckham. Getting clear by Keogh, and this is Adams, Petit. And where are 
Arsenal seem to be lacking is the ability to get Manchester United down the wings. And that's where Overmars is so effective. There's no width to the Arsenal attacks, but it really is easy peasy for Manchester United. And here they come with Beckham. The last thing Arsenal can afford to do now is A, to make mistakes like that, but B, concede another goal. And that must be the big worry as far as Arsenal are concerned. Dixon was aware of the problem which Blomqvist posed behind him. An unforced error, but a corner kick to Manchester United nonetheless, which Beckham will take. Keane, it's going to be another corner. Amos Adams. No real power in the shot by Keane. There'll be some pushing and shoving going on here. Beckham to bend his right boot around the ball. Burkamp. It's good defending by Burkamp. Petit has given it away. Blomqvist. Ricochet off Dixon. Dennis Bergkamp did well there, came back, helped out his defence and kept a cool head inside his own penalty area. Petit. Long twist. We've had six minutes of the second half and Arsenal haven't displayed any great urgency or new ideas in their attempt to turn this one around. Schmeichel's there, ahead of Parler. Schmeichel will leave Old Trafford in the summer. Says he wants to play in Serie A in Italy next season. is Keown. Turn back to David Seaman. Keown. Bergkamp dispossessed by Stamp. Keane. Forward towards Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And Tony Adams was effectively across to snuff out the danger. Throw into Manchester United. 52 minutes on the clock, Arsenal nil, Manchester United 1. The winners go to Wembley for this season's FA Cup final. Sheringham, Beckham, Gary Neville. Oh, the back heel was pretty, but not effective. Some of the Newcastle players have been saying in the last... 24, 48 hours, they want Arsenal to win tonight, so they have a chance of avenging last season's FA Cup final defeat. At the moment, it's Manchester United who look favourite to go there. This looks better, and Elka. Ljungberg to his left. Petit to his right. And Arsenal offside. Now, Petit was sent off in the FA Cup early this season, arguing with a linesman. So maybe he should guard his tongue here. It wasn't uh, the player wide here, Dixon, who was offside. It was Bergkamp, I think. There he is. Dennis the Menace. Hasn't been too menacing tonight. 
Parler, and that's Dixon. Surely going to be a free kick. Stan had hold of Bergkamp. Bergkamp has hold of possession. Petit is better. Ljungberg. Winterburn. They play the ball towards Ljungberg, but Keane read it impeccably. And then Keane thrashes the ball out of play. Now Manchester United need a disciplined performance by Roy Keane in the remainder of the second half. If he can keep his head, Manchester United could be keeping their date to go to Wembley on May the 22nd. But... Bergkamp now for Arsenal. There's Arsenal attacks just dead. Carry Menace at the moment. I think Ljungberg is soon to depart the scene. Highly talented player, but he hasn't brought any great threat down that left-hand side for Arsenal. And I think Alston Wenger will give him five more minutes to make an impact on this game, otherwise he's off. This is Blomqvist for Manchester United. It was a clever idea, but there was no white-shirted player behind him. And it was a red and white shirted player, Vieira, who picked up possession, only as far as Keane. Adams, Vieira, Keane, Sheringham, Keane again. Solskjaer! He could have sent Manchester United to Wembley. It was a wonderful passing move on the edge of that Arsenal area. I thought United were offside here. Oh, that was marginal to say the least. And it was that referee's assistant on the far side, Graham Atkins, who disallowed that one on Sunday. They were allowed play to go on. That should have been it. I wonder how costly that miss will prove to be, come the reckoning. I think he made a mistake again there, I think that was offside. All very difficult, all marginal decisions I know. And it's wonderful to be able to judge those with the aid of a slow motion replay. Instead, a little more than a blur from the naked eye. Petit, great tackle. By Nicky Butt, who's had a very solid game now for Manchester United. Team, United seem to be getting stronger and stronger. Sheringham. They're through again. And a good save by David Seaman denies Jesper Blomqvist. And that second clinching goal for Manchester United seems to be getting closer and closer. First, Solskjaer goes close, then Blomqvist. Arsenal need to make a change. It's Beckham with a corner. Manchester United lead 1-0. Bergkamp. And this is Nigel Winterburn. Lee Dixon charging forward. In fact, it's uh, Ljungberg who picks out Dixon. Petit. Beckham, who's prepared to get back and execute his fair share of defensive duties. This is Dixon, this is Vieira, and just for the moment, Arsenal hammering on a locked door. Arsenal have to go backwards. they found a way forward now. Dixon cut out by Yapstam.
Parler. And Nelka. Keane just took the ball off him, like taking sweets from a child. Keane. Parler's cross. Oh, what a chance for Anelka. Ronnie Johnson gets a real rocket from Peter Schmeichel because Anelka was clean through on goal and unmarked. He had time to control this cross. But he grabbed hungrily at the chance and it cleared the crossbar by some distance. At the other end, that was Solskjaer going close and this was Blomqvist. Could have had three goals in this second half, two for Manchester United, one for Arsenal. So, an hour played, Manchester United still in the box seat. And now Parler could be in trouble here. Ray Parler has been cautioned. And just when things are going bad for Arsenal, they're about to get a little bit worse. Blomqvist comes off. Look about the, talk about uh, a handy substitute to come on here for Manchester United. It's Ryan Giggs. Similar story for Arsenal about to happen. They're going to bring on an outside left as well. Enter Mr. Overmars. Presume this is Lundberg coming off. It is. Hasn't had a great game. He said that um, Arsenal might give him an hour. Well, they gave him 61 minutes and 30 seconds. Overmars replaces him. Arsenal had to do with that. Overmars on the start today because of an ankle injury. He's on now, and my goodness, they need him. Stamp. If they can get Overmars into the game, and Overmars can start to run at the United defence, we might have a bit more of a different story. Straight away, Overmars wins a free kick. The only good thing for Arsenal is that they haven't conceded another goal in this second half. They're still in it, just about, but Beckham's goal still separates the teams. And here came United again. Giggs calling for the ball. Beckham. I bet Alex Ferguson whispered in Ryan Giggs' ear before he went on, go on and win the game for us. That was a simple message, go and score a goal for us. And he's the sort of player who can. He's won a free kick. He was fouled there by Patrick Vieira, the French international who plays at the heart of the Arsenal midfield. And we've had 17, nearly 18 minutes of the second half. Manchester United still lead 1-0. Adams got it away, this is Petit. This is a danger for Manchester United. This is exactly the danger for Manchester United. Overmars has found some room on that wing. He's pulled it inside. Petit. Suddenly Arsenal look a better team. Vieira. Vieira again. They have to get the ball wide to Overmars. Dixon. Petit once again. And Adams can bring it forward now for Arsenal. And he's going all the way through on his own. Adams! Great block. One number six denies another. Stam got across to block the progress of Arsenal's captain, Tony Adams, here. That was a terrific piece of defending.
This is the best period of the game so far for Arsenal. They've been rejuvenated by the introduction of Overmars. Can they score? Petit's corner. Turned back in by Bergkamp. This is Bergkamp again. Petit. And suddenly those Arsenal fans who were very, very quiet indeed have something to infuse over. Dangerous ball by Petit. It's Manchester United who can counter-attack here. Keane. This is a crucial 10 or 15 minute period for Arsenal. Because if they can score in that period, they can certainly give themselves a chance of winning this game. If they can't, Manchester United will close ranks. Beckham, Sheringham. Oh, that's a clever move by Manchester United, but they were offside. Clearly, United caught offside. Arsenal will give it 15 minutes of intense pressure to try and snatch an equaliser. After that, they're going to be fighting with some very tired limbs indeed. And to be chasing the game 1 0 down against Manchester United in the final 10 minutes will be very hard. They have to score quickly. Anelka. And whilst Arsenal commit themselves forward, they're always bound to be caught out with a counter-attack like this one. Look at this! Ole Gunnar Solskjaer! Beckham! Not as good as his first-half effort. I thought Solskjaer should have dr driven on towards goal here. Look at the space he had. And if he'd have cut in here, and sort of going increasingly wide, well, who knows? Just bobbled for Beckham just before he hit it. Wasn't easy for David Beckham. And United are through here. Solskjaer! What a save by David Seaman. International class. The chances are coming thick and fast. Solskjaer. Got away from Keown, but drove his shot straight at Seaman. Well, he just can't take your eyes off this football match. David Seaman has kept Arsenal in the cup here. Solskjaer has had two or three really good opportunities now. That almost squeezed between his arm and his body. At the other end, free kick to Arsenal. Don't dare take your eyes off this one. Petit. Winterman. We've reached the three-quarter point of the game. Arsenal nil, Manchester United won. The winners go to Wembley in the FA Cup final. It has to be settled tonight. Bergkamp, he's got some space, he scored the equalising goal, and Arsenal are right back in the FA Cup. Nobody closed him down, he turned away, and look at the space he had, and the rich irony of all that is the ball was deflected in, via the boot of one Dutchman, onto the knee of another, and past Peter Schmeichel. Schmeichel had the original shot covered, but not after it had hit Japstam. Game on. Dennis Bergkamp, who scored a priceless goal for Arsenal just when they seem to be going out of the cup. This is Sheringham. Solskjaer. Beckham now for Manchester United. Oh dear. It 
just needed a touch. Look at this opportunity. Beckham was there. And had Teddy Sheringham been a... What a pace further forward. He would have scored. Now, which way is the free kick going to go? It goes to Arsenal. I told you Arsenal had to score. They did. It was a crucial period of the match. They couldn't go on much longer. A goal down. And trust Dennis Bergkamp, who missed last season's FA Cup final success, to steer them with the aid of an international colleague back into the FA Cup. Was that an OG? Possibly. And the Arsenal fans are in absolute delirium. But it's not all over yet by a long way. It could be a very long evening. But Vieira. Bergkamp. And this is Anelka. Schmeichel comes and Schmeichel gets there. By some way. What a game of football. He would be a brave, brave man to predict which way this one's going to go. My prediction, it would end nil-nil after 90 minutes. It has gone out the window. Adams and you get the slight feeling that the uh, tide has well and truly turned now Arsenal had the bit between their teeth have they got the energy Jonsson Bergkamp Bergkamp again and Elka and Elka scored! Arsenal have scored twice, and it's Arsenal now who hold the uh, flags up. They haven't spotted the flag. I don't think they know yet. And Elka knows now. It's Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1, and a repeat of Sunday, but this time it's Arsenal who are going to be denied. What's the referee going to do here? Anelka's goal is chalked off, it's not going to count. Now, let's have a look at this one again. Was Anelka offside? Well, he was there when Bergkamp kicked the ball. And now Roy Keane is off. <laughs> oh, what a game. It's his second yellow card. And just as in 1995 when he was sent off here, Roy Keane has been dismissed. A lunging challenge on Overmars. It was an Arsenal man who went off on Sunday. Now it's the United man who's off. Appeals for handball against Yapstap. We've had just about everything here. If a pantomime horse were to gallop across the pitch, you wouldn't be surprised. Hakeem Arsenal again. Bergkamp. Oh, what a save by Schmeichel. Parler. And it's a corner. Let's just recap all that's gone on. Arsenal have equalised. Arsenal have had a goal disallowed. 
just as Manchester United had a goal disallowed on Sunday. Manchester United have had Roy Keane sent off. Corner to Arsenal, Petit takes it. Keown, and Nelka! Well, this is another terrific scout, a scramble. Schmeichel was there, feet first. Paul Scholes is going to come on now for Manchester United and try to steer them into extra time. United have to bring off Teddy Sheringham. Scholes comes on because Manchester United are a midfield player light. Sheringham sacrificed. Oh, it was all going so well for Alex Ferguson. But it never all penalised. What is left? Now in this football match, 15 minutes of pulsating FA Cup football to go. Overmars. Overmars with a cross and Nelka. And it's a goal kick. Arsenal have looked a completely different team since Mark Overmars was introduced into the game. He has turned this FA Cup tie completely on its head. I know he's not 100% fit, but even at maybe 70% fit, he's caused Manchester United a big enough problem. And Alka's goal was ruled out. Bergkamp's is the only authentic goal Arsenal have scored tonight. It's Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. Vieira. And this is... Manu Petit. And this is Parler. Dixon. Beckham. Giggs. Solskjaer. Rare attack here for Manchester United. Giggs. Arsenal look the stronger now. First ten minutes of the second half, they were going absolutely nowhere. Now they could be going to Wembley if they can seize the advantage of having the extra man. Petit. Stam. Oh, it almost reached Bergkamp. We're witnessing an absolute stormer of an FA Cup semi-final replay. Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. United down to 10 men. Adams, and it's Vieira. Winterburn. Over Mars, over Mars and able to get there, but uh, Schmeichel to come to the edge of his penalty area. We didn't talk much about the sending off, it was a reckless challenge by Roy Keane, hardly the first of his career. But who was it on? Mark Overmars, who's just underlines my point, Mark Overmars has made a significant contribution. back to one or two of those chances Manchester United had when it was 1-0 to Manchester United 
and they put a couple of those away. All this would have been unnecessary. Vieira with a cross. Skulls, Giggs. United just can't get going now. Anelka. Skulls managed just to stab the ball away, but not that far. And there's going to be wave after wave of Arsenal attacks now. Let's push them forward, let's pen them in. That's what Bergkamp's saying, let's make it difficult for them. And it's certainly difficult enough. Ten minutes to go. a strange symmetry about Sunday's game and tonight's game then it was Manchester United who were left bleating about their disallowed goal tonight it's Arsenal then it was Arsenal who had a player sent off tonight it's Manchester United this is a Schmeichel's ball Just as on Sunday, we can't separate the two teams. The difference is that tonight we have to have a winner, and if necessary, a penalty shootout. Extra time is eight and a half minutes away. I think United would settle for extra time now. Giggs. How ironic that Arsenal, whose season has often been undermined by disciplinary problems and playing football matches with just ten men, now find themselves playing against ten men. What a chance for them to win this FA Cup semi-final replay. Giggs, Scholes. Adams, Beckham, Overmars, Ronnie Yonts, waste by Nicky Butt. What a test now for Manchester United and beaten in 22 games. The last team to beat Manchester United were Middlesbrough at Old Trafford back in December, although they came very close to defeat a week ago at the hands of Juventus when they needed a Ryan Giggs equaliser on 91 minutes to give them a 1 1 scoreline. Some of the fire's gone out of the match now. It was impossible for it, the tempo to be kept so high for so long. Dwight York have a part to play in this drama. Teddy Sheringham has already left the stage. Here. Just at the moment, I can't see another goal. Not in uh, the regulation 90 minutes anyway. Manchester United happy just to have the ball. It's going to be very tiring for Manchester United. Especially playing against an extra man. And here's Anelka. Only has Petit in support at the moment. 
And Nelka, oh! Trying to bend that one past Peter Schmeichel. It was interesting to watch his face. He was buried under a sea of Arsenal fans celebrating what he thought was the second Arsenal goal. And, uh, it's the Manchester United fans who are wearing the worried expressions. This is Dennis Bergkamp. Vieira. It's been a long old week for Manchester United. Overmars claimed he was impeded there by Ronnie Johnson. No foul. A week ago, United were toe to toe with Juventus at Old Trafford. On Sunday, they were here. Scrapping out 120 minutes of FA Cup football with Arsenal. And they're now within four minutes of stepping into extra time once again. Parla. Still Ray Parla, no foul. Isn't it funny, after so many chances at either end of the pitch, we haven't had one for about five minutes now. Solskjaer had two really good chances to score, sandwiched in between. A very good opportunity for Jesper Blomqvist, who has since departed the scene. And Elke thought he'd scored for Arsenal. And Arsenal must fancy but if there is extra time, they will prove to be the stronger team. Bergkamp. Scholes. Giggs. And that Arsenal defence, which has looked very wobbly tonight on occasions, looks rock solid once more. Over Mars. I think genuine fatigue is setting in. Tempo of the game has gone down so many notches. Solskjaer. Free kick to Arsenal. by Philip Neville, who got a bit of a scratched eye in the process as he tangled there with Parler. There's Paul Scholes, England's hero in the last international against Poland when he hit a hat-trick. You can hit a hat-trick for England, but you're not as short of a place in the starting 11 at Manchester United. Which of these two managers, Alex Ferguson or Arsene Wenger, will be striding out in the sunshine at Wembley on the 22nd of May? We still don't know. And we've played another 90 minutes, oh, a minute and a half anyway, of FA Cup football here once again. Is there to be a dramatic ending? to the 90 minutes. We shall see. Arsenal want to get on with the game quickly. Foul on Adams by Butts. This is over Mars. Over Mars. Oh, almost tripped up himself and he was looking to be tripped up. Skulls. Beckham. But. Inside the final minute of the 90, Parler. Wasn't a great ball to Anelka and Stam read it perfectly. This is Giggs. It's 
Palmer who picks it up, over Mars. This could be Arsenal's last chance to win it in normal time. Winterburn. Beckham. Or is it United? Beckham up with Giggs. He'll need support. Solskjaer. And as far as Adams, who brings some order to that Arsenal defence. As we move into stoppage time at the end of the 90 minutes. Three minutes to be added on. Skulls, and it's Giggs. I warned you that we might have a long night ahead of us. Right at the start of our programme. Anelka. Bergkamp. The T, I think, was offside. He's run his socks off tonight. And he's been on the sidelines for such a long period of time. Oh, he was onside, wasn't he? That was uh, an error by the referee's assistant. He hasn't played very much recently for Arsenal. Maybe the pace of the game is finding him out. This is Ronnie Johnson and Elka. Palmer now for Arsenal. Oh, that's a penalty, surely. It is a penalty in stoppage time at the end of the game. Oh, Philip Neville's distraught. Palmer cut inside him. And he fell under his challenge. And Arsenal now are going to be one kick away from Wembley. How United need Peter Schmeichel to rescue them now. Dennis Bergkamp can take Arsenal to Wembley. I told you they needed Schmeichel, and they did! Unbelievable! He saves a 91st minute penalty to keep Manchester United in the FA Cup. If you'd have written the script, there would be those who say it was improbable. Arsenal won, Manchester United won. And Schmeichel is United's hero. And now what's going on here? Neville and Parler still... Uh, I think this is a bit of the afters from that incident where Philip Neville brought down Ray Parler for the penalty. What a save, this is an exceptional save, Bergkamp hit it well, right in the corner. Well, was it a good penalty, or was it a bit close to Schmeichel? That's a good save. Let's give Schmeichel the credit. Extra time, what a 90 minutes we've had, crowned with that marvellous penalty save by Peter Schmeichel, we've had a penalty save, we've had a sending off, we've had a goal from Dennis Bergkamp, we've had a goal from David Beckham of the highest quality, and it ain't over yet. Don't go away, extra time is coming, the score after 90 minutes of this extraordinary football match is Arsenal... Welcome back to Villa Park. 1-1 one, one 
after 90 minutes of pulsating FA Cup football. Still to come, another 30 minutes of extra time. And news that Dwight York has replaced Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the interval. So 30 minutes of extra time still to be played, and if we're still level, then we'll have penalties. It surely can't be any more dramatic than we've had so far. Remember, Peter Schmeichel saved a 91st minute penalty for Manchester United. Petit. Overmars. Overmars helping the ball back here towards Tony Adams. Vieira. I just wonder now how much that penalty save will lift Manchester United, because I, I imagine several of the players must have thought, well, that's it for another year. Those can be defining moments in football matches, especially cup ties. Vieira. Over Mars. Ooh, that was... Another disappointing defending by Ronnie Johnson, who holds his hand up over to say... Yep, my fault. Sorry, boys. Should have walloped the ball with his right foot and got it to Rose Z. Never mind a gentle tap back, which gifts Arsenal a corner. It's Petit to take it. Killed away from goal. Great header by Yapstam. He's had an absolute giant of a game. Vieira. It's David Beckham who appeared to handle the ball, but Arsenal win it back. Remember, United down to ten men. They had Roy Keane sent off in the second half. But United have Dwight York on now. This is Burkamp. Almost came to Anelka then, from, or rather to Vieira from Anelka's cross. This is over Mars. Round gigs. Very low cross in there towards Bergkamp, but it was stabbed clear by Ronnie Johnson. And it's Petit who gets the ball out of play. Vieira. And this is Keown. United have such an impressive FA Cup record this decade. They've lost just five out of 50 FA Cup ties they've played in the 1990s. They're under pressure here, though, over Mars. And Bergkamp! Oh, what another brilliant save! And Schmeichel could well have injured himself in making it. I thought this was a goal and it left the boot of Bergkamp. He might have pulled a hamstring there, Peter Schmeichel. Well, if Manchester United go to Wembley, they can thank this man. Seems to be a groin problem here for Peter Schmeichel. There's Raymond van der Gaal, who's just in uh, conversation with his manager. But I think Manchester United have already made three substitutions. So they can't make another one. This would be very, very cruel indeed if this cup tie was decided by an injury to this giant hero of a man. And that's the only way to describe it. Especially if it would go to penalties and United had to put a rookie keeper between the posts. 
This is Overmars. Bergkamp. Palmer. Adams was forward there, that's why Manchester United had to dispatch the ball out of harm's way. Neville claiming that uh, we've got to touch off the Arsenal man. It didn't. I think that's a corner. And so does Petit. Those gloves make him look like he's about to do a rather complicated robbery or burglary. A jewel snatcher, perhaps. An Arsenal snatcher, vital goal here. York. Uh, maybe United can break Beckham. Not like that. Arsenal continue to have this stranglehold in midfield. Parla. Parla again. Oh, Keon of all people getting forward. And he seemed to be slightly surprised at the speed at which the ball arrived towards his head. He was unable to keep his header down. We've had six and a half minutes of the first period of stoppage time. One way of getting around the problem that the goalkeeper's injured. Overmars. Bergkamp. Feels for handball, and Arsenal aren't going to get another penalty. I wonder how effective Schmeichel is now. He's obviously injured, but to what extent? Petit. Cap claims he was bumped off the ball by Gary Neville. Schmeichel had to move rather uneasily there. Doesn't look happy, does he? But all the newspaper headlines will be about this man here if United go through, even if they don't. Even with half a kick, he lathered the ball three quarters of the length of the field. And here's Scholes for Manchester United. Rather grab at the chance. Might not be many chances for Manchester United in this period of extra time. Given the fact they do not have numerical superiority. Vieira. And Birke. Scholes. York. Scholes. And Nicky Butt. Scholes. Beckham. Yeah, Beckham can't keep that one in play. Adams Arsenal definitely are the more hungry of the two teams now Bergkamp he's pulled it back and he's picked out Gary Neville there were three Arsenal players and one Manchester United player inside the penalty area and poor old Dennis Bergkamp he picked out the wrong colour shirt
Arsenal do have a corner kick there. It's Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. Petit drives it in. Oh! It almost was an own goal there. Ronnie Johnson got a rather peculiar touch to the ball. And it's turned all the way back towards David Seaman. He nearly scored an own goal just a minute or so ago. Seems to be a slight hesitancy now, and you would expect Schmeichel to come for one or two of these 50-50 balls, but not now. He's injured. What a topsy-turvy story we've had. Beckham scoring that delightful opening goal for Manchester United. Arsenal almost conceding again before Burkamp's response. Anelka having a goal ruled out, King getting sent off. And a penalty for Arsenal, which Schmeichel saved. Schmeichel's now injured. We're on to chapter 54. Adams. Anelka Overmars. It could be, is it a problem of cramp, perhaps, for Ronnie Johnson? Or was it just a whack on his ankle? Here's how uh, Manchester United almost conceded an own goal there, off Ronnie Johnson and beaten away by Schmeichel, who was down on one knee. Now, this is where you would expect your goalkeeper to come and claim the ball. Poor old Schmeichel, he not only has to save from the likes of Bergkamp, he's having to save from his own players as well. Vieira, and it's Parler, as Arsenal continue to take the game to Manchester United, Bergkamp, it's a great tackle, nothing wrong with that, Yapstam, Dwight York has hardly got a kick so far, We're 12 minutes into the first period of stoppage time, still 1-1, this is Bergkamp, oh, that's only to Gary Neville, Ticks round to 10 p.m. in England. It's a late night once again. But you'd have expected that given these two teams. We knew we were in for a long, long evening. Overmars. Played by Ronnie Johnson. Dwight York trying to give. Tony Adams a bit of a chasing here. Bergkamp. Adams, Winterburn, takes on Beckham, and that uh, save by Peter Schmeichel from Ronnie Johnson, the closest we've come to a goal in this first period of stoppage time, Canu about to come on here for Arsenal, as Arsenal increase the play pressure on Manchester United to try and win the game before we have the lottery of a penalty shootout, but that's what it could take tonight. Dixon, it's a very long cross indeed. Carlos coming off. And the Nigerian international, Kanu, who chose to play for Arsenal on Sunday instead of his country, who are facing Senegal, comes on. He was a player at the centre of that. Fair play controversy in the game against Sheffield United. But he did score the winner in less controversial circumstances against Derby in round six. Dwight York. 
very close to half time in extra time. And uh, if I gather correctly, we should turn around straight away. There should be no stoppages or time between the first and second period of uh, extra time. And the whistle is very, very close now. Maybe there was a bit of a stoppage to Peter Schmeichel. Elongate this first period of stoppage time. This is Anelka. Overmars wants the ball played forward. It wasn't a great ball to Overmars, but it might just pick out Winterburn here. And this is Bergkamp. Petit! Claims he was fouled. And he's all smiles, but all skulls wouldn't have been smiling if the referee, David Ellery, had said. Penalty kick. There was certainly contact between Scholes, who extended his right arm there. Scholes again. And Overmars is on his way here for Arsenal. Bergkamp to his left. Overmars! Arsenal want a corner. Overmars to use the run of Bergkamp to his left to try win some space for himself. But United held firm. Ronnie Johnson. Just closed him down and the outside of the shin of Jonsson diverted the ball wide for a corner. Nothing doing there. Giggs. Foul by Lee Dixon who claims he won the ball. As the referee says, yeah, but you side the way the legs of your opponent to win the ball. It's not quite cricket or football for that matter. United have a free kick and a rare chance to put some players forward now. Beckham takes it. Headed clear by Canu. And we've reached now overall since this semi-final started on Sunday, 225 minutes. And still we no closer to knowing who is going to Wembley, either Arsenal or Manchester United. The score at half time of extra time 1 1. There should be a few stoppages now. We should be underway very shortly. We're 15 minutes away from a penalty shootout. Maybe David Seaman, who's seen one or two penalty shootouts in his time, not only with his club but also his country, might be involved and a chance to stamp his personality on this football match in a way Peter Schmeichel already has. Simply a matter now of Manchester United are holding on because one suspects penalties would be there. Best chance, given that they are playing against 11 men, and Manchester United only have 10. Beckham. Overmars takes on Gary Neville. Such a tricky winger. And that's not a tricky cross. Overmars, who scored in the FA Cup final last season against Newcastle, and scored a vital winner against Manchester United at Old Trafford in the Premier League last season. Peter Schmeichel has surrendered the goal-kicking responsibilities here now to Gary Neville. He needs to conserve his energy for the penalty shootout. Ganu. This is Lee Dixon. Over Moss. Canu. 
Vieira claims he won the ball fair and square, but the referee thought he cuffed Diggs on the back of his head. Remains 1-1. This is the second period of extra time. And the two worried faces there. Even at this stage, they've gone through the whole range of emotion, whichever team they support. Expect plenty of this in the uh, remainder of the match. But I'm not sure Schmeichel would have uh, enjoyed doing all that running and chasing. Adams. Arsenal reminding Manchester United that they still are the champions of England. And, uh, these two currently occupy first and second in the Premier League table. Giggs. Great run here by Ryan Giggs. Oh, what a goal! Would you believe it? Ryan Giggs could have taken Manchester United to Wembley. Only ten men. And just as he did a week ago against Juventus, Giggs strikes after 109 minutes of football. Some fans are on the pitch, and they think it's all over. But it ain't over by a long, long way yet. Arsenal will have plenty to say about this. What a run by Giggs. It's one of the goals of his career. He's scored 76 goals now for Manchester United. But I wonder how important this one will prove to be in the final reckoning. Like a knife through butter. Arsenal try to respond, Schmeichel claims the ball. Ryan Giggs couldn't even get a place in the starting 11. Giggs who's won 12 major honours with Manchester United since 1991. Is he on course for number 30? Arsenal once again find themselves chasing an equaliser over Mars. They have ten minutes to rescue this one. York, Beckham, Scholes, Dwight York for Manchester United. What an extraordinary game we've seen. It's Beckham for Manchester United. And Arsenal have to commit a lot of players forward now. As they try and chase this game. United offside here. That is one of the goals of this season. What a finish. Look at Alex Ferguson. Nip me just to make sure I'm not dreaming. It just gets better and better for Manchester United. And the wait, Bergkamp. And it's behind. And would you believe that uh, this evening, Chelsea, who had the chance to leapfrog over Manchester United at the head of the table, drew nil nil at Middlesbrough. Manchester United, who have a patched-up goalkeeper who saved a penalty after 91 minutes, down to 10 men, who really are fighting with one hand tied behind their backs. 
have still managed to land what could be the knockout punch. Beckham. Winterman gets it clear towards Patin. There's a bit of nonsense here between Beckham and Patin. It all ends in a handshake. Thank goodness for that. Beckham, thankfully, seems to have learned his lesson after uh, what happened in the World Cup against Argentina. What odds would you have got when Bergkamp was stepping up to take a penalty after 91 minutes of Manchester United winning this FA Cup semi-final replay? It's Beckham who helps the ball out of harm's way. Arsene Wenger has seen virtually every conceivable possibility tonight. Arsenal seemingly scoring a second goal, then having it chalked off. Arsenal having a penalty, and Schmeichel saving it. Man United reduced to ten men. Arsenal still couldn't score. And less than seven minutes to go. to be a, a newspaper reporter trying to sum up this game in a couple of paragraphs and you need the whole of the back sheet of a national newspaper and a few more Petit I still think there's a twist to come in this one I don't think it's all over yet Vieira, Cano. Dixon tries to keep the ball alive, but he hasn't done that. Well, Ryan Giggs has come on and absolutely turned this semi final replay on its head. That poor girl who supports Arsenal with tears choked back now. Petit. Adams. Overmars. Is this the equaliser? No. And United fans are taunting their Arsenal counterparts now with cries of, we've only got ten men. Bergkamp. Make that only got ten men. And a dodgy goalkeeper because Schmeichel is injured. There are five minutes to go. Petit with a corner. It might come out to Bergkamp here. He's bent it in. And they've put that chance wide. Adams goes close, but not close enough. It was a wonderful cross by Bergkamp. Two of them were unmarked, it just needed one of them. They put each other off in the end. I'm not sure Schmeichel would have got there. I've commentated on some exciting football matches in my time, but for sheer drama, this must beat the lot. Stand with the foul. And I don't think it's over yet by a long way. Because Arsenal will throw just about everything forward now in a desperate attempt to find an equaliser to take this to a penalty shootout. Petit. The header is by Adams. And 
Well held by Schmeichel, but he didn't have to move his frame even half an inch. York. And a free kick to Manchester United. Why T had to give away a free kick then? I'm not sure. And all that's unnecessary as well. Three minutes to go. Cano. There's a chase on here. Suddenly, I bet Schmeichel's leg feels a whole lot better. You don't need a physio, you need a goal. Beckham offside here. Some very premature whistling going on. Another two and a half minutes separate Manchester United and a place in the FA Cup final. And it's Giggs again, the tormentor of Arsenal. Lee Dixon bumps him over, and Giggs not too impressed with the attentions of Lee Dixon. Less than two minutes to go. Steve Bold is coming on. And it's Petit coming off. I don't think they want to uh, risk any more disciplinary problems here for Manu Petit. Or maybe he's picked up an injury. Petit has started just two of Arsenal's last 12 games. And he's seen the... Uh, Substitution board now. It's one of the oldest players at the club coming on, Steve Bold, 36 years old. And United are in time wasting mode. We're inside the final minute of the match. Manchester United are very close to their fifth FA Cup final of the decade. Final number 15 is in touching distance now. Giggs. Arsenal just have to get the ball forward to the other end quickly. It can't be fancy now, it has to be dramatic. Bergkamp. Anywhere will do for Manchester United on this extraordinary night of football. Ryan Giggs has picked up an injury, he's limping, but he'll soldier on for a few more seconds yet. Arsenal have to score now. The referee's looking at his watch. This is Vieira. Ball blocked by Dwight York. It's Cano. They just have to get the ball in. Bold. And Nelka. And it's turned back to Peter Schmeichel, and that could well be it. The United fans urge David Ellery to blow the full-time whistle and bring this titanic struggle to an end. Winterburn. Oh, a chance for Anelka. That could give us... That could have given us such a dramatic ending. Well wide. And I suspect when this ball is kicked by David Seaman and it leaves his boot, referee David Ellery will signal Manchester United's progress to the 1999 FA Cup final on May the 22nd. And it's there, they're going to play Newcastle United. United are back at Wembley in the most 
bizarre circumstances, the most unlikely circumstances. And Ryan Giggs has scored one of the goals of his career to send 10 man Manchester United through. Schmeichel was a hero himself, saving a penalty on 91 minutes. Shrugging aside the pain, Alex Ferguson, who's never lost an FA Cup semi-final, keeps that record intact. And even he, who's seen some marvellous days as Manchester United's manager, must be absolutely delighted. Arsene Wenger can hardly believe it. I'll try briefly sum up the game. 1-0 to United, David Beckham with a superb goal. 1-1, Dennis Bergkamp equalised, and Nelke had a goal disallowed. Then Roy Keane got himself sent off. Penalty to Arsenal in the 91st minute. Schmeichel saved it into extra time, and 10-man Manchester United, who then had their goalkeeper injured, saw in utter disbelief Ryan Giggs run through the entire Arsenal defence and slam the ball into the roof of the net. It's one of those nights for Arsenal, but one of those Ryan Giggs days for Manchester United. The final score in this FA Cup semi-final replay on a memorable night at Villa Park is Arsenal 1, Manchester United 2.